Okay guys, so this first video clip I want to play for you is uh, from LiveLeap.com and it was up to May 6, 2011, um, the New York nuclear incident. And I'm going to just go ahead and play this video for you guys. This was a uh, YouTube user, Christiana Garrett one um, I recommend you guys check out her uh, channel. She's got some really good stuff and she's been covering this right from the beginning, guys. I'm not a big fan of the music, though. Hi, YouTube. This is your daily nuclear report. 6 of the 5th, 2011. We've got a nuclear event in USA, the state of New York, Nine Mile Nuclear Power Plant, Oswego. Uh, the situation is this week's automatic shutdown of the Nine Mile Point Unit 1 nuclear reactor was triggered by a malfunction in a turbine speed indicator. Constellation Energy Nuclear Group said today, the reactor automatically shut down itself on Monday night. The company has traced the problem to a malfunction in the instruments that monitors the speed of the turbine, said Jill Lyon, speaking for the company. The malfunction sent a false signal to the control room, and that false signal met the design criteria to activate an automatic shutdown. Although the problem has been narrowed to the false signal, the plant will remain shut down while operators complete a thorough review of what caused the signal to malfunction. The reactor restarted April 19th after being out of service for maintenance and refueling. Then, on April 26th, operators reduced the reactor's operating power based on indication of problems with the feed water system. The plant had been operating at reduced levels while equipment repairs were in progress. So, that's the latest nuclear event. Thanks, YouTube. Alright guys, so she broke it down pretty good for us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you those articles she was talking about and then dig in a little deeper to um, the history or the uh, past past events that have occurred at the Oswego uh, Nine Mile facility um, and also that facility is home to three reactors we've got the Nine Mile 1 and 2 reactors over there and it shares the grounds with the, uh, the Fitzpatrick facility. Alright, to get started, I just want to uh, cover a little background of the, um, the facilities over there, and uh, I'm just going to read this little blurb off of Wikipedia real quick. Nine Mile Point Nuclear Power Station is a two-unit power plant located in the town of Scriba, approximately five miles northeast of Oswego, New York on the shores of Lake Ontario. The 900 acre site is occupied by, also occupied by the Fitzpatrick Nuclear Generating System. Okay, so that 900 acre facility, they got three reactors over there, um, two of which from belonging to the Nine Mile, and then uh, one of which being the um, Fitzpatrick's facility and um, they've got proposals in the works for the building of the third reactor um, at Nine Mile. And the other thing I want to bring you guys' attention to is this uh, 1991 site area emergency. On August 13, 1991, a site area emergency was declared at the plant, according to Time Magazine. This was the third occasion a site area emergency had been declared on at a U.S. Nuclear, nuclear plant. The emergency was due to an electrical fault which caused a momentary loss of electrical power to the reactor and control room. The operators shut down the reactor in accordance with emergency plan requirements. There were no injuries and no release of radiation as a result of the incident. But that will be the well, this is up on Wikipedia, so if you guys want to find out more about that, you can look into this. Okay, so here's an article that I found in 2007, and I'll just read it to you because it's kind of short. Uh, the James A. Fitzpatrick nuclear power plant in Scriba has begun producing electricity again after a three-day shutdown to repair a faulty valve. The 33-year-old plant reduced power on Monday to replace a component that would 
open one of 11 pressure relief valves on the event of an emergency. On Thursday morning, Fitzpatrick reported on the NRC website that it had reached 20% of its total output. Plant spokeswoman Bonnie Boskian said the plan was for the 33-year-old Entergy-owned plant to continue to increase its power output. The plant, like most nuclear plants, usually runs at 100% of output. Okay, so this article just goes to show you guys they've had to shut it down before. They've had some problems with that valve there. Okay, so this next article, uh, it's got a video with it too that I'm going to play here in a minute. Um, this this happened like exactly like a month after the incident with the Fitzpatrick reactor. Now there's there's three reactors over there. Um, like I said at the beginning of the movie, so I'm just gonna go ahead and play this video. An alert was declared Wednesday after an incident at Nine Mile Two Power Station. Constellation Energy declared the alert after a carbon dioxide discharged in a switchgear room. The unit was not shut down. The spokesperson says there was no danger to the surrounding area. Carbon dioxide is used at the plant as part of its fire suppressing system, but there was no fire detected. And the spokesperson says the workers were trained for an event like this one. Prompt identification of this issue by plant personnel allowed us to immediately take the appropriate and prompt actions. Uh, this including ensuring the plant was stable and that all personnel were notified to immediately exit those affected areas should anybody be in proximity. The exact cause of the discharge is under investigation. Yeah, so again, I just wanted to recap on this article that the CO2 detector and the second reactor triggered an alarm but there was no fire. For the second time in a one month span, this 900 acre three reactor facility has been in the news with uh, having problems. So I'll leave the link below if you guys want to check it out. But the one part I found really interesting is uh, that they, they have not identified the source and they're trying to isolate where it came from and get it taken care of. But the sump, which is on the exterior of the reactor building, according to this article, is used to keep ground moisture away from the structure. And this, the sump discharges water into the lake. So, but remember guys, this is, this is what, two years after the same facility had to shut that reactor down because of that because of repairs they um, were making for a faulty valve you know in this plant this is now 37 year old reactor so but I got got a lot more information guys so I'm gonna keep going ahead here okay so nine mile point two nuclear plant in Scribo shuts down Thursday, January 7, 2010. Scriba, New York. The new 9 Mile Point 2 nuclear station's reactor automatically shut down earlier today, and officials of Constellation Energy, its primary owner, are seeking to find out why, a company spokeswoman said. The shutdown of the 1,138-megawatt plant took place about 1 a.m., said Jill Lyon, speaking for Constellation Energy Nuclear Group, which holds an 82% stake in 9 Mile Point 2. All the plant systems responded as they should, so everything worked as it should have. Our operations in the control room took all the appropriate actions, and the plant is in a stable condition, Lyon said. The shutdown was likely caused by maintenance being performed on a transmitter in the plant's residual heat removal system. Residual heat removal system is used during an emergency to inject water into the reactor core to cool it, Lyon said. 
Constellation performs periodic inspections and maintenance on it to make sure that it will work when it needs to. Transmitter is an electrical instrument used to monitor the system's performance, she said. Resident inspectors from the Federal Nuclear Regulatory Commission found that the transmitter sent an invalid signal about the insertion of the reactor's control rods. NRC spokesman Neil Sheehan said, That tripped cooling pumps and the reactor shut down, he said. The public was not endangered and no radiation leaked, Lyon and Sheehan said. We do not activate our emergency plan or anything like that. Alright folks, so that's the art the gist of the article. There's a little bit more if you want to go read it yourselves. Um gonna move on to the next one here. So later in 2010, um May 4th of, of 2010, nine mile two plant completes refueling. So again, Jill Lyon, speaking for plant owner Constellation, said the refueling began April 2nd and concluded at 6.51 Monday. Um, so this would have been May 3rd. Took 30 days, 21 hours and 56 minutes, which he said is about the industry average. Last refueling took about 26 days. And during the refueling outage, plant workers replaced one third of the fuel in the reactor. Every two years, one third of the fuel is replaced, she said. Also during the outage, workers perform hundreds of inspections on equipment and upgrade and replace components once, once refueling is done. The plant is put into service again gradually working its way up to full power. As of Tuesday morning, the plant was at 33% power. Okay, so now we have an automatic shutdown in 9 mile 1 that occurred on November 10th. I'm sorry, yes, yes, it occurred on November, November 10th um, of 20, 2010 in Scriba, New York again. Uh, there was an automatic shutdown of the Nine Mile Point Nuclear Plant Unit 1 at 10.56 a.m. Wednesday. Jill Lyons, speaking for Constellation Energy Nuclear Group, <coughs> she's a popular woman, said that the shutdown, when two of the unit's four main steam isolation valves closed, so half, half of the unit's four steam isolation valves closed. She said the plant employees are investigating to why the valves closed. Okay, so again, another situation. <laughs> um, this time in Unit 1. Lyon said the public health and safety were never in danger due to the valve closure and the shutdown at the plant. The plant employees responded according to plant design and used the plant procedures and their training to respond. So going back to the one article. Of the shutdown. Here we go. Um, shut down too, that we did not activate our emergency plan or anything like that. Okay, so this is uh, what we're looking at January of 2010, so 10 months later, you know, 11 months later, we're looking at, you know, um, and the other reactor granite, but this time the plant employees respond and, uh, and use the plant procedures and their training to respond. So I guess I take it that that means that they used that plan that was in procedure for this type of event. 